hi it's time for another video of the favorites of the month this month is a little bit more mixed media since i i was working on a commission that i want to paint in oils and of course i was using my watercolors and gouache for swatches i'm using this brush it's da vinci casanio to be honest it's not my favorite brush since i find it doesn't hold water that well but I wanted to show you nonetheless. So the first color is Naftamite Maroon from Daniel Smith and it's a very nice muted red violet. It has a spot in my main palette and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Although it's pretty identical to Perline Violet colors of any brand. But since I've got a 15 milliliter tube I decided that I'm going to use it up first. And the next color is Bordeaux, also from Daniel Smith. It's a very beautiful rich purple. And I find that it's very similar to like quinacridone violet. But since it's a single pigment color, it's a fairly unique pigment, I decided to buy it and I'm going to use it for now. <laughs> it's a bit more red in the mask tone and then it washes out to a more bluish undertone. And I find it really beautiful. And that's why I decided to use it for this month's artwork. By the way, I will label all the colors once the swatches are finished. Now the highlight of the whole selection is a handmade color. It's from Daphne of Apollo from Patreon. And it's a Patreon exclusive paint from the end of 2021 and I used it here around the eyes. I absolutely love that color. From what I remember, it's a cadmium base paint and I absolutely love the opacity. So our next color in line is obviously a warm yellow, which is this time Indian yellow from M. Graham. At the moment I'm absolutely in love with warm yellows and this is one of my favorites. I used it for the eye color in the artwork you could see when I was showing you the, the Devil from Daphne of Apollo. It's got such a beautiful glow to it and it's a little bit more on the orange side compared to the Hansa Yellow Deep from the last month. Oh, and the main theme for today's video is me struggling to open and close all the tubes, so I had to edit quite a lot of footage of that. Here we've got Schmincke's Cobalt Violet here. And to be honest, I don't find it to be an essential pigment. It's very similar to PV15, so Ultramarine Violet of any kind. But once again, it's a fairly unusual pigment so I had to buy it and I had to utilize it because why should I waste it? <laughs> I find that it's not really a strong color so I don't put it in my main palette but if you have a lower tinting strength based palette then it's uh, definitely a go-to. Here we've got a peony from Holbein Irodori gouache series and a close-up on the pigment numbers for you. In Temperance 2 I use it mostly for the line art mixed here with some zinc white. You can see the color close-up here and the peony comes from the winter set of the Irodori gouache paints and I thought it'd be a perfect line art color paired together with the perline maroon I usually use. In a second I will mix it with zinc white so you can see how it looks. The 
the next art supply is this little vial of Ferris Wheel Press ink and it's in colour Moss Park Green. I got this little vial from beer. They usually come in proper bottles like this one. But I, I don't really use many inks to purchase a massive one for myself. Although I could not resist this gorgeous uh, Lady Rose and Gold, I believe. Yep. It is such a beautiful dusty pink with gold in it. Most part green is a very muted, olivey kind of colour and I absolutely like it. To me it's definitely an eye candy colour. So thank you Bia for sending me this one. The next art supply is Schminke's Aqua Bronze Powder in Rich Pale Gold and I'm going to swatch it here on top of Liquitex Carbon Black Acrylic Ink since it will give it a very nice contrast. I use it for the snake pattern in my newest piece Temperance 2. You can either use it as a loose powder or mix it with water and apply it like a paint. But do be careful because it's mildly toxic and do not flush it down the sink. Now for the oil colours. To be frank, for a person who mostly uses watercolours, I've got quite a selection and I got it off a very good sale on eBay. Though I got this colour myself, this is Indian Yellow Deep from Winsor & Newton and I really like how transparent it is so you can easily glaze with it. I'm mixing all the oil colours with titanium white from Jackson's. I was going to use some liquid with those swatches so they can dry out quicker but I honestly forgot so I'll have to wait a couple of weeks for those to dry so I can tape in into this little sketchbook. Here's the sub green from Winton so it's a student grade and honestly you can tell the difference between the student and the artist grade. I use significantly more of the student grade paint compared to the professional one for almost exactly the same area. So they have definitely higher payoff in that respect. Here's the burnt sienna and it makes this absolutely gorgeous Caucasian skin tones. I would definitely recommend this one, it's amazing. And this burnt sienna looks absolutely gorgeous with this permanent rose colour. It is such a happy colour, I really like using it. And here you can see the hair colour I'm going for for the commission. So here's the lineup for today's video and there we go, there are some labels for you to read up and hope you like this video and leave a like, subscribe, all that jazz and hopefully I shall see you next month, bye bye!